<laughs> I'm happy you're excited, OJ. We got the NBA legend coming on. <clears throat> Speedy Claxton, how you doing, my brother? Oh, what's good, man? Uh, nothing much, man. I'm uh, staying put up, man, trying to stay healthy. How about yourself? Same thing, man. Just staying, staying in the house and just trying to stay out the way, man. Nice, nice. Um, uh, I do want to uh, – my homie hate when I do this because I kind of go too long sometimes, but I do want to um, thank you just for coming on, man, going from being a, a kid in Chicago, watching TV and watching you play on the TV and having you in front of me uh, on live, man. It's like a dream come true, so I do appreciate you. No doubt, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so let me introduce you real fast, man. We got the um, NBA champion, Speedy Le We got the NBA champion. We got the um, – uh, American East Player of the Year. We got the 20th pick in 2000. We got the American um, Tournament MVP, Speedy Claxton on, y'all. We got Speedy <laughs> Claxton, man. And uh, let me just say something about you, man, about your game uh, as a kid, right? And uh, people might not know this if they're not, um, they not really in detail about basketball, but how you got to the lane was crazy. I want to. I want to say that, and I know you know that. I know you know that already. That was my specialty, man. It was crazy, bro. It was crazy how you got to the lane. Um, I want to start off asking you about your upbringing. Um, growing up, um, what's your first memories of the game? My first memories of the game, probably scoring my first ever bucket. Uh, nice. It was in CYO. I was probably around, probably ten years old. Um, I actually watched it not too long ago at my dad's house. Uh, I just remember scoring and then my mother ran on the court uh, <laughs> while the game was being while the game was being played. Nice. And, like, gave, and like gave me a high five. <laughs> so I don't know if everybody noticed, but your family, you got a sports family. So yeah. um, uh, I want to, I don't want to go too much into it. I want you to tell me about it. Your sister and your brother. Um, tell some, tell the people about your, uh, your background and your family, um, how they are in sports. Yeah. Uh, big family background. Uh, my little brother played at Villanova for coach Jay right now. Uh, and then my youngest sister, she was one of the top females in the game when she played. Uh, she went to St. John's, uh, university and she was, she was a beast. She was a problem. Nice. But she would have right, kept, and... she she kept playing and not get not got injured. She probably would have been in the WNBA. And um, you also end up getting a chance to play for Jay Wright. How, how was that? Oh, it was, it was unbelievable. I mean, that's that's the only reason I went to Hofstra was to play for Jay Wright. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, he used to coach at he's the coach at uh, Hofstra. So when he recruited me, I mean, he just did an excellent job. I could have went high major. There's a lot of schools that came after me, St. John's, Georgia Tech, Cedar Hall, but it was just something about Coach Wright, man, his, his recruiting style and the rest of his coaching staff. Um, what are your favorite memories from back in college? What are your favorite memories from back at uh, Hofstra? My favorite memory, probably winning, winning the America East Championship, man, going to the tournament. Uh, going to a smaller school, only one team from that conference gets to go to the tournament. And every year we kind of kept getting closer and closer. And then finally my senior year it happened. And I mean, it was an unbelievable experience. I, I've been telling you, I put it right up there with winning an NBA championship. It, it really meant that much to me. Okay. Um, my next question for you is, um, so getting drafted, you got drafted 20th overall. First yeah. of all, I want to let people know, um, I'm sure a lot of people know this, but about, I think they said 98, 99% of NCAA players don't make it to the NBA. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It's, it's a small select few. So for you to be not only just a part of that 60, for you to be number 20, how did that make <laughs> you feel? How did that make you feel? Thinking back, <laughs> thinking back about it now, is like, it's crazy. Like, to be the 20th pick in the NBA draft, I mean, it's like a dream come true. Uh, and to get picked that high from Hofstra? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's kind of unheard of. Yeah, so, okay, so getting in the NBA, this is my big question I always like to ask um, the players when they come on. How did it feel first putting that jersey on, that NBA jersey? 
It was dope. Uh, once I went, the day after I got drafted, I went down to Philly, had the press conference, and we took some pictures. I was like, wow, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm putting on the Sixers uniform. And that was, that was kind of one of the teams I watched because I was a big Allen Iverson fan. So I was like, this is going to be crazy. I'm going to be teammates with somebody I kind of admire. Yeah, nice. Um, okay, so being a fan of Allen Iverson, first of all, you play with a lot of legends. Let's just say that. Um, you play with Tony Parker. You play with Tim Duncan. Um, you play with Allen Iverson. So who was your most, I mean, excluding these players, um, of course, we're not going to name these players, but the page is underrated, underappreciated. Who was a player that you played against, played with, that you feel like a lot of people may not have gave that that look to, a lot of people forget about in history? Um, I can't really say people, people forget about him because right now, because he's, at a, he's on a huge stage, uh -huh. uh, it'll be my man Stack. Stack, Big nice. Jacks. Big Jacks. That's my guy, man. He's doing great things right now, man, for our, for our brother Floyd. Yeah, rest in peace, Floyd. Yeah. I definitely want to shout out Stack, man, because uh, we definitely big fans, and that loss is definitely – it hurt us all. Um, being from Chicago and seeing what's going on in my city right now, um, it's definitely hurt us all, and we definitely all feeling the pain. So I definitely want to send my condolences out to that family. Um, and I'm, I'm happy you touched on that because um, Stack was a player that you that you got to play with. He's yeah, a player that my, you ended up playing with. That's my boy, man. That's my, that's my guys. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not surprised with – what he's doing right now. That's that's him. Nice. Um, so my next question is, winning the NBA championship, right? You won an NBA championship, first of all. Uh, that's not something that a lot of players do. Um, and not only just that, you are a big part of that team. Um, tell me about that. How was that experience being on the San Antonio Spurs? Amazing. Amazing. I, only, I was only there for one year. Uh, I was lucky enough to for it to be a championship year. <laughs> but it was a great experience, man. You know, growing up watching the finals, you know, Michael and Larry and Isaiah and Thomas and all those cats. And then to actually ex get to experience it and, like you said, be a big part of why we won was, I mean, it was dope, man. But I think that's a, I think that's an understatement, though, man, uh, about being a big part. Uh, I made sure I posted this clip. Um, all the way back from when you won the, the title, and they was just, it, the 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 way your teammates talked about you, the way the analysts talked about you, bro. I think you was um you was more than a than a I guess a big piece to that team. And a lot of people don't speak on players like you when it comes to talking about those Spurs championships. You know, we kind of look at Manu, we look at Parker, we look at Ginobili, and we not understand that Stack had a part of that team, or uh, you had a hand in that team. Um, you got players like Avery Johnson that had a hand in those teams. So um, I want to say, uh, how does it feel? How did it feel to you moving on from that situation and just um, blossoming and make, making your name in the NBA? Like, how did that feel going from an NBA championship to going on a different team? Or what was your feelings? Just what were you like? What were you feeling? It actually spoiled me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to, to, to win an NBA championship and then, that's why you can't take it for granted because you never know when you're going to get back there. Like, that was – I was fortunate enough to get to the finals my first two years out of three because I went there. Even though I didn't play with Philly, I still got to experience it. Um, mm -hmm. I was hurt that year. So I went to the finals my first two out of three years. And you kind of take it for granted that that's just what it's going to be. But that was the last time I got to the finals or anywhere near it. And to, to play at that level, I mean – was amazing yeah okay so one thing that people don't understand and people don't know you played 10 years in the league yeah you played 10 years in the nba um a lot of players don't get to do that so to be able to play 10 years in the league um what would you say would be the most memorable other than that other than you winning the championship what would be the most memorable thing what would you say you took away from the nba when you retired um, friendships, man. Uh, I built a lot of good friendships within the NBA. I'm still good friends with Chris Paul, uh, Lamar Odom, Malik Rose. Um, it's a brotherhood. It really is. Like, what is it about? Maybe 450 players 
that plays that play in the NBA. I mean, it's a small fraternity, and you guys are really brothers while y'all are in it. Nice. Okay, so I want to. Um, I don't. I, I didn't want to take all of your time today. I appreciate you for joining, bro. But I want to play this game with you. So this game that I play, I always ask people. It's either gonna be like either or. So if I say this player, you are gonna pick. If I say uh, a question, you're going to pick either player. Okay, I got you. Okay, is that fair enough? All right, cool. Okay, so if you had to pick a franchise player, who you going with, LeBron James or Michael Jordan? If I had – if I was picking a team, if I was starting a team? You're starting a team and you're picking your franchise player. Uh, I'm going to go with LeBron. Why you say LeBron? Because he makes other people a little bit better than MJ did. MJ was a great scorer, unbelievable player. I still think he's the GOAT. Um, nice. But if I was starting my franchise, I would pick LeBron, LeBron just because he's a, he's a mismatch, walking mismatch, and I think he makes his guys better. If you needed to pick a small four for your team, if you need to pick a, a small four between these two small fours, who would you choose, Kawhi Leonard or Kevin Durant? I'm going KD. KD, why you say KD? I'm going KD. I think KD is actually underappreciated. Um, That's a fact. People knock him for his decision to go to Golden State, and yeah, it was a, it was a it was, it was kind of weak of him to do that. It was a weak yeah. move, but it doesn't take away from his skill set. He's still That's a, a bad he's still a bad bad boy. Like in my mind, he's neck and neck with LeBron. Like the stuff that he could do, he's a he's a seven footer. Yeah, he's like, KD's a seven footer now. Remember that underrated he, defender too. And he moves like a guard. Yeah, like, he does. <laughs> that's that's insane. I, I, <laughs> yeah. would, I would say KD, man. Okay, so um, if you had What's to pick him? a point guard, if you had to pick a point guard, who you going with, Kyrie or Curry? I'm going with the chef. I'm going with the chef. I'm going with. Why the you chef. say the chef? Why you say the chef over Curry? He don't miss. <laughs> That's the fact. Man, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good teammate, good guy. I was lucky enough to play with him in my last year, uh, so I got to know him personally. He's, he's, a, he's a good teammate, so I, I would go with Steph. And right now, Kyrie's in, Kyrie gets injured a lot, man. So a who, lot. Knows, who, who knows if you're going to – what you're going to get out of him for a whole so, season? I actually like that you said that because my next question, I just – I want to see what you think about this. The better center, Joel Embiid or Carl Anthony Towns? You know, I would go with Cat. Nice. Not, not too many people get to really watch his game. He's on, Thank you, Speedy. Thank he, you. He, Thank he's you. on the West Coast. He plays for the Timberwolves. They don't come on TV. But trust me, Cat is a bad boy. I mean, 82 games the first three years. 82 games he, he's every tough, year. tough, man. He he's tough. If he, I mean, if he gets out of Minnesota and gets to a, a major city, watch out. He he could blow up. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, my next question is, and you played with Tim Duncan, so um, <laughs> I didn't. I kind of didn't want to. You, put can, this you can stop there. I'm going with Tim. I'm going with Tim. <laughs> right. You can stop. Okay, I, you can stop right. right there. I'm I going with go, Tim. I'm not even going to ask no the question. Who, you, no Tim Duncan. who are you comparing him to? I'm going with my guy, Tim. <laughs> okay, Tim Duncan, y'all. Tim Duncan. I don't even got to ask the question, Tim Duncan. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Lakers or Clippers? Lakers. Nice. I mean, they got, Lakers? They, they, they got two guys in LeBron and AD that are probably the best at their position right now. I mean, how can you beat that? That's a fact, yeah. Um, so my last, my last, it's not a question, but if you had a dream starting five, you could put anybody at point, anybody at shooting guard, anybody at small four, power four, center, what's your team? My team, point guard, I would go Isaiah Thomas. I love Isaiah. 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 Big Isaiah Thomas. Nice, even Chicago. Though, yep, and even, I'm gonna put him in the backcourt with somebody that they don't, they probably don't get along. Michael Jordan, Mike. of course. <laughs> uh, at the three, see, are we gonna are we gonna call KD a stretch four? Or are we gonna leave him as a three? Let's put KD at the three. All right. So what are we doing with LeBron? Is LeBron go, can LeBron be a stretch Ooh, four? Is LeBron that's tough. A three too. That's tough. 
Because that's my that's my hang up there. Let's go stretch four. Let's go KD stretch four. Let's go LeBron at the three. All right, so then I'm gonna put LeBron at the three, KD at the stretch four, and gotta go with the Diesel at the five. All right, I'm throwing a wrench in this. You got a six man. I got yo. You gave me a six man. Ah, go with the go with the late Kobe Bryant man. Got to nice. got to give respect to my guy. Nice. All right, rest in peace, Kobe man. We we all grew up watching Kobe, and we all appreciate Kobe. Um, yes, I do want to say this before I wrap the interview up. I appreciate you for joining my brother. Um, watching you growing up, going from watching you to talking to you now. Um, it's crazy, man. Uh, talking to an NBA legend. And I got my people in the building. I, I appreciate, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate the love. Oh, yeah. Anytime, man. And then we just appreciate you for what you contributed to the game. Not only just that, my brother told me to tell you that you had the coldest name in NBA history. <laughs> <laughs> Good looks, man. Yeah, I appreciate you, Speedy, man. I hope you and the fam are doing well, man. And I hope y'all continue to do well, man. And I appreciate you, man. I no appreciate doubt, you man. following Stay the Stay safe out there, guys. Uh, yeah, I will do, man. And uh, I do also want to say uh, rest in peace um, to Floyd also. So I want to say rest in peace to George Floyd um, yeah. also. And then shout out to Stack. And uh, may we all stay together, y'all, at this time. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, my brother. Easy. Rest up, guys.